Um, we're going to start with the help, and um, uh, I'm going to access it through the website. And remember, when you're in Student Manager, when you click Help, you now go out to our online help. Uh, in the old days, the help was built in. And we've now switched to online help, which is the new way uh, to be able to do uh, the help. It's how uh, Microsoft has set up their help. And um, I've now clicked into the help screen. And this is what you see when you go to help. And, and I've been in the industry a long time. Uh, for those that don't know me, uh, uh, I've got 17 years in continuing ed. I've taught. And uh, I've been a technologist for many years. Uh, Chuck just brought me on. And he's been pleading with me to come work for him for a while. And one of the things I always find people never use the help. And uh, the help is actually really helpful. And Cheryl has put a lot of time into this and uh, setting up the help to be very, I hate to use the word again, helpful. So let's take a look at how this works. Um, down the side of the screen, uh, you have the, the different contents of the help. So if I click on the quick start, you will see the different uh, areas of the quick start. And I can click on any of those and read those subjects. Now, one of the things that's new in the help system uh, are these little arrows up here. And what it'll do is with whatever subject that you're in, so for example, we're in Quick Start, we can now go and navigate through all the subjects in Quick Start by just pushing those little arrows. Uh, those didn't exist uh, up until recently. Um, so you can navigate through by uh, clicking over here in the Contents pane. Or you can actually use the little arrows. Now, below any of these topics, I can come over here. Here's Navigation Tools. You'll see um, a link called Related Topics. So if you're trying to learn how to do something uh, and it wasn't quite what you were looking for, sometimes you can click on the Related Topics link and find uh, exactly uh, maybe a sort of another topic that matches. So we could jump over here and um, uh, and maybe find a related topic um, um, that's related. Now, one of the things I always like to show on help uh, is the screen layout. Uh, if you don't know about this, just learning this will, will be the, the magic bullet about help. The, the screen layout help. Um, so when you go in here and you look, this will show you all the different places on the screen, all the fields. And when you hover your mouse, it shows you the name, uh, the field name. So if you're trying to write a report or, or change your report, this is where you go to find the names. So you can go to any screen, and you're able to see by just hovering your mouse what the name of that field is. So that's kind of nice. The other thing you can do in the help section is you can go to Browse, and that'll let you browse through. Once again, uh, it's just a slightly different layout of the help. One last thing, um, there's not much to tell about the help. Uh, if you go to the search up here, we can type in uh, what we're trying to get help on up in the search. And it will think a bit, and it will come back and bring up your search results, just like searching on Google. And um, sure, he says, as it sits there and twirls. And it will bring back a list of, um, um, of search results based on your query. So we have a lot of help on reports or in that. So that wasn't the, the most defined search. Uh, but if you look, uh, now we can go in and click right into the help that way. So there is help on almost every part of Student Manager. Uh, so I would get in the habit of, of using it. I still use it uh, a lot. I've been using Student Manager for 15 years. And um, I spent a lot of time going, now how does that work? And coming in here and, and looking for help. So um, uh, it works. So if there's not any questions, I'm ready to pass, pass the buck back.
very relevant. As soon as, yeah, as soon as there's new features, she uh, updates and puts help in about them. It's, it's almost a daily job. Greg, one more time, can you show us how to find the screen layout? Uh, once again, if you're in the contents menu, uh, there's actually the little book called Screen Layout Student Manager. So it'll always be when you first come into the help, you look for the book that says Screen Layout Student Manager. And then every screen is listed on here. And you just find the, find the screen you want, want <laughs> excuse me, find the screen you want to look at, and then you hover your mouse.